Today we're with our friend Dr. Nate Wall, who among other things that he does, builds solid body electric guitars. Nate, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself uh, outside of the guitar building? Well, I did grow up in Muscatine and uh, all my life and uh, most of the time we grew up about 100, 200 yards from where we're at now. Uh, my parents have moved across the field now and uh, this is my father's workshop that we're in. Um, retired recently and, and this is what he does a lot of the time now is, is carpentry work so um, I was one of my one of the things that got me interested in in making guitars is uh, for one I had all this great equipment that he would let me use and and also he would be there to help me and we could spend a lot of time together too so Lord, I had me a cowboy. Yeah, but he weren't much to look at well, we're up here in Nate's uh, little hideaway where he gets to house some of these instruments that he's been telling us about. Um, I believe this is the first one that you built? This is number one. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? How, how old is it? Uh, it's about two years old now, I guess. Um, that's, that's about right. Two years, I think, is, is how long this one's been around. And it's gotten played quite a, quite a lot in that time. And, uh, it's a fun one, a little heavy, and I've learned a lot since since we made this one. Um, so I, I think with with anything, that the more you work on things, the better you get at it, the more ideas. So I, I learned a lot from this one. We had to instead of going down and buying some more lumber, we just well, how could we use what we have? So this was our idea to sort of use the butcher block method. Um, and so we took a lot of smaller pieces of wood and glued them together. And so this guitar is made out of walnut with uh, oak stripes down the middle, the racing stripes. And then uh, the finish on it is very simple, just a tongue oil finish. There's really no protective uh, varnishes or, or glazes or anything. second guitar that I built and it's um, has obviously a lot of the same stylings as the first one yet I think a few steps above uh, mainly on this one I, I went to the trouble and, and researched a little bit more of some of the components that, that I've used I go to work in the morning and come home in the evening you're building these for the general public these. Well, the first one, just to see if I could do it and to see if it would be any good, and I had such a fun time making it, and it, and it did, does work very well, and I thought, why not do another one, uh, not knowing where it might go, and still not still in the early phases, but I don't ever expect it to turn into a company or anything like that, just kind of a fun thing to do. To believe in this living. 